Okay, so this is where we left off last time. In this one, we're going to start actually interacting with our screen, all right? So open up your text editor, and the first thing we want to do is add focus to our text inputs, all right? So go down here and just type in focus is equal to true, all right? And then we want to give this uh password field in id all right so id for this one will be password field like that then up here we want to say on text validate which means if enter is uh pressed what we want to do is uh password field dot focus is equal to true all right so that's that. Let's run that and see what happens. Okay, so by default, the username is focus, right? And I can type in, read enter, and show sure enough our password is focused as well, right? The next thing we want to do is make this field a password. So we can say password is equal to true like that run that again so the characters are no longer visible so this is great all right now the next thing we want to do is start interacting with this all right so let's say on text validate we want to call this function which we're going to define in a minute all right so validate user all right and we also want to call the same function if the user clicks the submit button all right this button so for that we are going to use on release all right, so if the button is released, call that same function. And we need to give this one an ID as well. So ID and call this username field. Great, so now we can come to our sign in dot main here. And where is it? Right here. Okay. Define our constructor. Takes in self and more arguments. All right. And then we can just say super here. Dot init and pass in the arguments. Great. So let's create our what did we call it? Uh, I forgot what we called it. We called it validate user. All right, so validate user like that takes in self. And what we can do now is get the username and the password from our fields. All right, so you name is going to be equal to uh, self dot IDs self by the way remember is this class right so it has this property called ids which is a list of all the ids you defined here all right so self dot ids dot we called it username field i think so username field we want to get the text of that username field all right Actually, let me do it like this. So, user, let's just call this user, all right? Leave it at that. And password is going to be self.ids.password, password field, I think, like that. Then we can actually get the username, like user.text and the password 
as pass with dot text all right and then for now we just say if you name is equal to empty or the password so if they just pressed enter without entering anything all right what we want to do is print username and or password required required like that all right otherwise if the username uh, is equal to admin and the password is equal to admin right we want to print logged in successfully like that all right so let's run this and try it invalid syntax were let me check this if you name oh, whoa forgot an equal sign there we go. run that and we can now say so if we don't type in anything here we get our error oops so we didn't get our error so this is a problem okay we got the error right here all right let's try it again so admin admin and we get our nice message saying logged in oops saying we logged in successfully right here all right so let's make this more intuitive all right so up here create a new label and give it an id of info and text of that label is going to be empty text all right and the color no actually let's make this markup all right so markup is equal to true like that right so then we can come up here get that label and say info is equal to self.ids.info all right then instead of printing stuff we can simply say info your text is equal to that and since this is an error we want the color of that to be red so oops red is uh r g b well g b like that i think and I'll close off our color of course then out here let me test this color thing first all right uh right whoopsie invalid syntax again and for the text is equal to color all right logged in successfully where is that whoa right there yeah all right so run that hmm we'll fix this in a moment so i just want to text the color for this one all right the color works so close off our color right there open the color right here and make it green so r oops r g b all right so we 
call it info.txt is equal to that. Great, so let's fix that color thing real quick. So size hint y, whoops, size hint y is equal to none. And the height of this one is 20. Change this to 100 to accommodate this 20. And now we can run this. Great, so user name, uh huh, we didn't get anything. Oh, that's because we didn't specify this one, all right? So let's try admin instead. So admin, admin, and we get our item right here, all right? So to fix that one, we can simply say else and copy this, paste it in here, and say invalid username and or password. All right, run that, and now we can type in our dummy text, hit that, and we get our nice error. All right, so for this one, we are done with the sign ups with the sign in screen. All right, so the next one, we're going to work on the POS and start using an actual database instead of this. All right, so thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.